Wonderly, I'm Karen Cabot, and it's time to do another fun, nerdy craft project. This craft project is inspired by fellow Wonderling Kaylee Hyde, I will say hoot. Kaylee, along with the rest of us, loves Disney, and she has an amazing Disney pin collection. However, her favorite Disney pin is this 50th anniversary pin of the Disneyland sign. So I thought that we could make a fun desk organizer based on this pin so you can bring a little bit of Disneyland into your everyday workspace. For this project, you're going to need several paintbrushes, a graphite stick or pencil, a ballpoint pen, and an exacto knife, a cutting mat, hot glue, tacky glue, and super glue, thin dowels, and a large cutting tool, several different colors of paint, 10 small clear boxes, mine are from the container store, and I put a link to buy them down below, a piece of light colored chipboard, a piece of thin black museum board, and a large cereal box. Two patterns printed out, both are linked in the description. We're going to start by cutting out the Disneyland logo. Print out the pattern that's linked in the description. Don't worry, it's supposed to be mirror imaged. And use a graphite stick or a pencil to color on the back of the paper. Then place it on top of your black museum board and trace over all the outlines with a ballpoint pen or a sharp pencil. When you remove the paper, you should be able to see the outlines of the letters transferred onto the black board. If you don't have museum board, you can also just trace them onto cardboard and just paint it black. Next, do the same thing except tracing five flags onto your lighter colored cardboard. Use your exacto knife to cut everything out and lay them all out so you can see how pretty it all looks. And now set the black letters aside for a minute. Now mix your paint so that you have red, coral, lime green, brown, bright blue, and silver. Side note, if you just buy colored boxes instead of clear ones, you can skip this step. It's just that the store that I went to only had the clear ones, so I had to paint mine. Use each color to paint two of the boxes and one of the flags. For the boxes, paint the entire inside of the box, but try not to get any of the paint on the top or the outside. Leave all of that to dry, and make sure that when the front of the flags are dry, you flip them over to paint the back. Then, take your super glue and very carefully glue each letter to the front of one of the boxes, making sure to match each letter with the correct colored box. You can find that diagram in the description below as well. Then use your super glue to carefully glue together all 10 boxes in one straight row, making sure the bottoms are lined up so it won't wobble on the table. Now take your large piece of cardboard, I'm using a cereal box, and cut out a shape that's the same width and height as your boxes, but is topped with a semicircle that extends about an inch above the boxes. If you're using the same size box as I am, you can also just cut out the pattern in the description piece it together, and then trace it onto your cardboard. Use a bit of tacky glue to glue the pattern onto both sides of the cardboard and then set it aside to dry. Now take your dowels and cut them down so that they each extend about an inch and a half above the semicircle. Use your hot glue to glue the flags onto the dowels, again making sure the color corresponds with the right dowel height. And now it's time to put it all together. Use your hot glue to glue the patterned cardboard onto the back of the row of boxes, and then hot glue the flags onto the back of the cardboard. And then that's it! Now you can go ahead and fill it up with whatever you like. I decided to go with crayons because Disney just makes me want to be a kid again and coloring is awesome. So thank you guys for watching this DIY crafting video. If you guys decide to make your own versions, feel free to send me photos on Twitter or Tumblr. I would love to see what you guys come up with. Be sure to subscribe to the Wonderly channel for more DIY videos and more videos from all of the Wonderly girls.